life after death how does a person who has experienced his innerness who has explored or discovered the reservoir of love within love and life begins to overflow how does he enter you have heard the name of swami vivekananda great mystic from the east who went to the western shores to attend the parliament religions it was a planned parliament where it was already decided that there is nothing in hinduism if someone has to attain to salvation he must embrace christianity vivekananda was not given any importance no recognition he had when he went they had all the scriptures put on the shelf and bhagavad gita was at the base but on on top of that all the other the scriptures were placed and one of them said bhagavad gita is outdated it is no use and the latest version of the word of god is contained in other scriptures that are on top vivekananda listened to them if you were the person and your scripture is put at the base what would you do think and that will be a test of your own inner growth it happened vivekanand allowed those people to say whatever they had to say then he thanked all of them saying that thank you very much for giving me so much honor and so much honor to my scripture bhagavad gita everyone was bemused that they had put the bhagavad gita at the bottom and all the other scriptures was on top gently vivekanand went to the shelf he pulled out bhagavad gita as he pulled out bhagavad gita all the other scriptures books fell on the ground then he addressed those people thank you very much for putting bhagavad gita at the base the basis of any structure is very important just as i pulled out this basis the foundation the entire structure crumbled and fell down so to bhagavad gita is the essence of the man's existence it is the foundation on which the entire edifice the structure is made and once you remove the foundation the structure cannot remain that is why i thank you for putting bhagavad gita at the base and bringing that understanding this is the approach of a person who has explored the reservoir of love within it can be put in another way you see the flowers you see the stems you see the branches you see the leaves but the roots that nourish and nurture the plant are hidden and nobody can see that there has to be a respect there has to be an understanding of all the scriptures if something a message has come from jesus or hazrat aap pehambar sallallahu alaihi wasallam it cannot be wrong because these are the men of tremendous understanding and awakening the food that is cooked by master chef a thai master chef has to be good because he has been given that status of being a master chef but if you know nothing about the thai food and you are accustomed to your pizzas that food will not appeal to you but the very fact that it has been prepared by a master chef 
who is an executive chef of a of a five star kitchen must have some talent all these prophets they are master chefs executive chefs in their own right preparing the extraordinary recipes for those who want to taste them it is important that we live with that and life after death it is erroneous to think that by becoming friendly with fear you will be able to move inward or be religious even the friendly fear will prevent it in fact it will prevent it even more however it will prevent you in a friendly manner now fear will advise you not do such thing there is nothing in words you will fall into nothingness and returning from that nothingness is always impossible beware of falling into your inwardness cling to things this is the way of fear what has to be done to overcome fear fear is the ornament of ego fear evolves out of ignorance fear has to be understood you do not have to make friends with fear and it disappears what are you afraid of when you were born you were born naked you did not bring any bank balance either but you were not afraid you came into the world utterly nude nude yet you entered like an emperor in the world even an emperor cannot enter into the world the way the child enters the same is true of entering inwards it is a second child birth you again become a child like there is the same innocence same nudity and same non possessiveness what do you have to be afraid of in life you cannot be afraid of birth it has happened now nothing can be done about it you cannot be afraid of life it is already happening and you cannot be afraid of death whatever you do it is definitely going to happen total acceptance is the way things happen on their own accord so what is the fear even your so called learned people inquire what will happen after death i have always wondered that this is the understanding of the people who are learned one day i was not born and so too you were not born and there was no worry was there any worry then i have never for a single moment thought that when i was not born what kind of trouble what kind of anxiety and what kind of anguish i had to face did you worry about this i was simply not so were you now the same will be the case when i die or you once confucius was asked by his most significant disciple mencius what will happen after death confucius said do not waste time when you are in grief lie down and think over it but why bother about it now so many people in their graves may be thinking you will think there seem to be no problem in every cemetery and there are millions of people simply lying they do not even get up to inquire what has happened what is the news today they do not even change the sides they are so relaxed and when people die others close their eyes out of fear poor people will go on seeing in the grave it makes you afraid 
that thousands of people in their graves are looking close their eyes. Fear of what happens, fear of what will happen after death is unnecessary. Whatever is to happen will certainly happen. You cannot do anything for this beforehand. You do not know, so there is no question of doing any homework. Getting ready for the kind of questions you will be asked or what kind of people you will meet. Learning their manners, their language. We do not know anything. There is no need to worry. Do not waste time. But it is fear. Fear that something is going to happen. After death you will be alone and even if you call from your grave, nobody is going to listen. People close the grave completely just out of fear. If you leave some window open and that people may start looking from there, they would make anybody afraid. The fear exists only because you do not know the beauty and the bliss and also the joy of drowning or dissolving in nothingness. Fear is meaningless because you know nothing of ecstasy that opens up as you fall in words. It needs a little taste and meditation is the taste. There is nothing for you to believe, just experiment. If thousands of mystics have experienced something within, at least hypothetically, you can also have a look. Perhaps there may be something that you are missing. Perhaps there is something that you have not understood. Therefore, it is better to experiment scientifically. For this there is no question of fear, just a little intelligence is needed. A little intelligence is needed. I mean intelligence, not friendliness with fear. You need the intelligence of an adventurer heart. You need the courage of those who go into the unknown. They are the blessed ones after the experience because they find the meaning and the significance of life. So go into this experiment with trust that so many masters have ventured into and came out blissful. That is the only way you can overcome the fear and live a life of blissfulness beyond any kind